All right, folks, welcome back to our Formula One 2018 career mode. This is Rise of Stormcraft, or Ride the Fluffy Guy. You're a driver, and of course, we're still with Sauber. We have only got four races left of the season to go, and we figure, why change teams? Even though we're nobody knows how to drive, even though we've had our ups and downs with the team, even though we've had people literally caught saying, we don't want to, you know, push too hard on you. But you should do better. I'm the only one that scored points team for the team. And we've got the only person so far that's been on our side 100% of the time, our car chief right here. Hi, Doghouse David and the car chief. Uh, plugging away at my computer, if you look over there in the left corner screen, Wait, fits my very good description of my... And you're staring up at the TV now. Yeah. Uh, check the monitor, check the telemetry on the computer. <laughs> check check the monitor, make sure that sober is right. <laughs> make sure that the heart rate's going good on the car. And as you can see, for weather, once I go down, we have perfect Clear sunny days. sunshine. So, will this car handle well? Who the heck knows? Will we'll this car find... knows how to floor it in the dry, dry temperatures? And when it comes to the straightaways, our car's got horsepower. It's our get up and go. And needs a little extra ponies, but hey, we'll work We're around it. Our ponies, go to, our ponies are asleep at first, but then they wake up. <laughs> yeah, they're too busy taking a nap on the get-go. But we are in Austin, Texas, USA, our home country. We're going to try and win here. Or get a podium. Or at least get a place finish to show we're defending our country. That's Fernando Alonso. 18, so it's in the 70s. Got the tire warmers on there. Just going to switch them out. Don't need no tire warmers. Just push the car outside. Let it sit in the sun. But what happens, though, is that you get more heat and it'll expand it. Ah. And throw the the aerodynamics and the weight chassis and everything uh, off balance. So that's why they would rather do it by heaters. As soon as he hits the line, it'd be green flag down. Heartbreaking zone to the left. Gas off. Slight turn to the right. Left, right. Fifth, right. Good tour cut. Still no pit, no comments, no comments. Straight away. Left turn down to a sharp straight away. Hard braking to the left. Gas, 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 gas. Full throttle, full throttle off, full throttle off. We are literally tailing the ghost of Hamilton's car right now. Brake zone to the left. Gas. Give it all you got. Give it all you got. Gas, 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 gas. Gas off. Little bubble there, that's okay. Gas. Gonna be a braking zone to the left. Gas off. Let off the gas and turn the car. No brake. Gas, full gas. Shit, my car cut. Keep going, full with throttle. Fantastic. You go home. Because I car cut at the end, but screw it. I'll take hey, it. <laughs> take it as you can get it. They do a NASCAR. Let's go below the yellow line to get that faster time. Mr. Monaco. Hamilton and Daniel Ricciardo. It's Ooh, this is going to be a fight up front. Yeah, everyone's in the 135s. All your top cars are the part top is, I had six. the same time there as I did in my practice. 135.2. Nice. <laughs> okay. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Are you feeling confident that you can take your qualifying pace into the race? It's got to be a relief to qualify that far up the grid. Great. Well, that's everything. 
see you later. I gotta go talk to my car, car chief real quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have discussed our options, and here's a great look at this track. What phenomenal... <laughs> Phenomenal design of the track. <laughs> We've almost beat our uh, teammate in the rivalry, but we're nowhere near Raikkonen right now. Raikkonen is destroying us at the moment. As you could tell, there are a lot of teams that are pegged out wanting us, but the season's not over yet. Don't. Well done. It's not well, over till the fat lady cool. sings, as they say. No disrespect to fluffier people, as uh, my driver like to say. <laughs> they got to love them all. It's all in the heart, not the body. Even though some people will think otherwise, but hey. I will goes. defend this country. Or try. <laughs> well... One of the nice things about Austin is it's open. So if you do get bumped all the way, you do have enough coverage to skid back on the skid track. back onto the track without going in and taking out and making a left of a wall or a sandbox. What fantastic enthusiasm. Or do what I did in uh, Sochi, Russia and go Neat to get by somebody. Oh, you couldn't even put a fart between both of them. 21 degrees is up up. So we're up to 80 degrees. Everyone break out your bikinis and your shorts and let's go to Austin. And when the drivers are going by, please don't flash your boobies because we don't need a wreck on the track. <laughs> well, no, well, no, we see the top runners going, no, where'd they go? The train race is over here. Well, when we go up, we turn right. So oh, look at that. When we go up, we turn uh, left, so we, we'd all be going just straight. <laughs> And if there's any of you that's going to watch this video that has been to the F1 Series race at Austin, Texas, please let us know in your comments uh, how you like the track and was it a very fun experience. Uh, me and my driver here are going to pray like heck we can make it this year to watch the race in Texas, but we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But that's our game plan. But if you've been there, let us know what you think. And... Where's the best spot to sit and go from one? Uh, put those all in your comments, and we'll go from there. Ricardo, and you and I are going to go some rounds here. Max Verstappen is just ahead of us in the point standings. Ericsson starts 13th. Yeah, but can the Hulk... He actually did score a point last year, so I have to give him we got to give him a golf clap on that, even though it's not too loud. It's time to head down to the track. That was the very first time he got us some points as a teammate. Look at that. You, check out the graphics. Really awesome. The designers and everybody that put their hard work into this. All the buttons on a steering wheel. Makes you glad you're not colorblind. <laughs> yes, if you're colorblind, uh-oh. You better put some little little tags above it to what they each part of what you say they are. Yep. All lights, when the lights extinguish, we go green. Go for it. Green, green, green. Now, uh, inside. Inside, outside, inside. Three wide, three wide again. Still three wide. Three wide, three wide. Three wide. Clear all around. Clear all around. Reckon it munched off Ricardo. Just do a little... Follow the leader for a few seconds for the first lap. Now, for those that are wondering when did, when did the DRS system kick in, not till lap three. Once lap three uh, crosses the finish, the start finish line, then it's uh, to be used in the DRS zone. Unless it's raining, but right now there is not a cloud in the sky. It looks like jet trails to me. Jet trails with a tiny, tiny puffs of uh, clouds out there. Breaking zone to the left. No. Nope. Don't, don't go for it. Normally, he would have put his foot in it and tried to dive in there, but we're going to play risk, uh, risk versus reward on the first lap. And then after that, we'll see what see where we 
make our attack plans. But as the race goes on, we also can we can change our strategy as it goes, like we've done in the past. Okay, like I said, he was not away. I told him wait to lap after lap one, but he said forget it. And that's why he's in the car and I'm behind the I had a chance to took it. Mike. So yeah. Yeah, this one going up hill, I definitely could not take because Reagan was already curving it. Yeah, no, just wait. Next lap will be DRS if there's any DRS zones on this map. Oh, yeah, there's two. I have gone that up in practice, oh boy. You know, we're not wrecking his ass here. I mean, we do not want to touch the car with our front wing because it will do damage to it. Um, our front wing is fragile as sugar glass, I hate to say it, but. <laughs> But it'd be like a bull in a china shop. Just don't touch it. Gas. Oh, man. You got him to the right rear. He, he knows you're there now. Look at just the slipstream we get off him. Stay there. Slingshot. Now. We're going to have a hard braking to the left. Coming into the brake zone. Set up for it. Gas off. Go after Hamilton. Oh, boy. When Hamilton pits, we pit. Unless he blows up like we're stabbing in spot. Which would be nice. <laughs> Since we're kind of an underdog team. Everyone likes to try and munch us off the track. Oh yeah, they get a pop shot at us. They usually give us a whack in the front end. How's those light rims feel to you up the front on the wheels? They're good. The car is actually handling. Okay, we got better downforce lap three DRS. We got the fastest lap time right now. Drag reduction system is available. Now, what happens when they get to that DRS zone is the rear wings are closed. As soon as it gets to that DRS section, he pushes the button. It opens them up to let the air through to get the horsepower. They can. A DRS generally gives about ten to twenty more horsepower depending on the car you have. That is the one thing I did find out. And the track was purple with your color on your monitor. Because I had the fastest lap time. Yep. But we're going to sit here and just ride, watch and see how Hamilton, how he takes lines, learn things from him. I mean, we're not losing him. Holy sh shit. <laughs> Hard left. Hi, Hamilton. How are you doing? You're like, man, this guy is like a turd that won't flush. Even if I call <laughs> Roto Rooter. I need a courtesy flushed. I keep coming back. I can smell what you had for dinner. <laughs> he just drove away like, get me the hell away from him. <laughs> like, this guy's crazy back here. <laughs> Take a little bit outside here and there. Didn't quite get to the break too too good there, but we'll take it. Okay. Lap four coming up. Lap four. I believe next lap is good. Yep. But I would ERS do the medium. But I would do whatever Hamilton does. That seems right now he's the one that you're going to be fighting with. I already did reduce it. I'll reduce it down to low now. Yeah. Now, here's where driving skill comes into play when you, while your battery charges back up. We have a caution in behind you. Well, at least it's back there, not up here. Green race. There's no one my look. I probably wouldn't. Patel is out of the race. Sebastian Vettel is out of the is race. Him Patel? <laughs> yeah, and he likes to call him Patel, and it's actually Sebastian Vettel. Looks like Hamilton's faster in part one, but in part two, this car just kicks in and goes, hi. Okay, looks like Sebastian Vettel will be off the track. He's way off the track. I just looked down at the map myself. Holy heck. Sebastian, where were you going? Did someone flash you? Fuel mix, 0.47. Positive. At standard rate, 60% brake bias. If you need more brake, add a little bit of brake bias to it. 
I think I might add just a little bit. Build 20, build a 64. And that'll help you down in the real sharp, sharp turns. These here just let off and gas it. With the real sharp one like this one right here, break it, gas it. Sorry, sorry, crew chief. Unless that car in front of us goes in, we're not going in. But then again, if we go in first and he doesn't, we have a chance to possibly bypass him. Correct. So pit this time, pit this time. Hi. Hello. Our brakes are working a whole lot better since we tighten up the Up them just a little bit. We're actually pushing him almost. <laughs> I just had to burp my car on the corner. There's like, bet, bet, bet. okay, we're good. Hard right. I mean, excuse me, hard left, hard left. Oh. We just had almost a meeting with the thing there in the middle, but we're all right. Oh, uh, we were just going to give the cone a high five. <laughs> Come here, Hamilton. Yeah, Hamilton sparking underneath. Gas, gas, gas. And one thing with this uh, little mini map, you can get yourself confused, especially when you're trying to look for the car, which is a triangle, you know, especially when you're in the pack of the cars. Pit lane coming up right now. Oh, boy. I was like, Hamilton, Hamilton stayed, stayed out. Yeah, he but stayed out. Right. He, he's got a pit, so we're going to do it now. At least when we're in here by ourselves, it won't hold us up. Correct. We have a tendency to get held up real bad. Okay. It's got it. shuffle back and the 14th, it looks like. Stay below the white line. All right, blend in, go. We actually didn't do that bad, considering where we could have went if we yeah, would have had other cars in with us. Yeah. Now, now that we're on the fresh huggies, we can uh, really take it and go after them once we get a little bit of heat into them. That corner there, corner there will probably put a lot of heat into them. Sharp left turn coming up. You will have slow, slower cars, so be very aware of that. I'm probably just gonna stay behind and let them pit. Well, we don't know how long they're gonna pit. We don't. We want to sure. get as much distance as we can from Hamilton. So let's do what we very can to really protect the true. front of the car. How's that brake bias working at the 64 yeah, percent? It's doing pretty good. All right. Yeah, we didn't know we could move that stuff until we two races to, we ago. Got sing, we got to Singapore, which actually was three races ago. Three races ago. And we can also change our differential, which we usually don't mess with it. Let the engineer put their put that take into it. Sorry about that. All these bugs around here on this track. It's in my forehead itch. So made some pits. That's fine. This is in Looks like Hamilton thing too. Oh, that's Bottas. Bottas. Coming up on Van Doren. Oh, and we've had a good couple. Well, races we've had a few minor oops and pickups with him. And, and especially the guy that's in front of him. We've had a few little scrub ins with. Whoa! Good thing we tightened them brakes up because we would have been right through the back end of that car and had a pit for a wing. Okay, if you can get close, we're gonna we're gonna go for a brake zone. Brake hard left, hard left. Turn left, turn left, gas, gas, gas. Alright, got me, got me. Got Van Doren, now on the Saint the Saints. Brilliant. Nice move. Thank you, thank you, Richie. I did a great job on my driver. Swing! Shot. Down. Gas. Oh, gap to the 
Well, he's seconds. not one who bought by you bad, but he ain't gonna get by. Rojan will be your next victim. You're gonna be like Pac Man going after the ghost. Chomp, 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 chomp. I'm gonna hit a power pellet and go big time on him. Power pellet's already in the engine. Exactly. Looks like everybody is in the pits. Bye bye, everybody. Long gone. Let's put some miles on it. Let's go. Burp throttle. There you go. For those of you who don't know, burp the throttle is also a dirt racing term for if you need to get around the corner and there's too many cars in front of you, you have to burp the throttle around it. Just let off the gas, get back in the gas as quickly as possible. Unless you have a long belt one, then you're like really off the gas. <laughs> Hey, at least my car ain't backfire. Yep, exactly. See that drive. Now, the other thing, too, just to reiterate, if we haven't had uh, told you, we are not using a steering wheel, just a controller. We've done this a whole entire race. We don't have a steering wheel yet, but we will be getting one soon, so stay tuned for that. Episode. Stay tuned for that. Slowing down. It seems like there's some other problem with the car. Verstappen's have an issue. The tell. Verstappen. Front runners are going out of the race. Hey there, helicopter. How you doing? Yeah, but don't get cocky here. Hamilton's coming out of the. I wasn't getting cocky. I was just waiting to get the helicopter. What? I can't wait with the helicopter. Don't have time. You got gloves in your hands. We're in the United States, so we got to represent. <laughs> Keep it real, bro. Have you seen some of the soldiers being stupid videos on YouTube? <laughs> uh, no, I ain't really. I haven't checked that out, but I can guarantee you, we we done some stupid stuff. Being that I was in the United States Army for three years, Berlin, Germany, and Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Yep. Especially in basic training, when we picked up a soldier, and uh, they picked up a soldier with him in the bed and was start to try to carry off with him. We have a little bit of lag there. I usually tend to pause it when it does lag so I don't go flying off into a corner. And get screwed by a glitch. Exactly. Hey, you want to play on the Ferris wheel? Oh, maybe after the race. Hello, cameraman in that helicopter. Aren't we just doing something wonderful? Yes, we are. Man, there's all kinds of seating. You can't find a place to sit in this in this track. You got a problem. <laughs> Problem. The energy reduction system is coming up almost to a little bit of time for before it goes into full power. I just wish the high because I saw it up there. We have an eight second gap I just looked up on Hamilton right now. Let's put 10, that'd be better. Team that has a bunch of money. Versus us that are a little bit lower on the totem pole. A lot lower on the totem pole. I mean, the graphics to this game are so awesome that if you look in the mirrors on the car, you can literally see the cars in the mirrors as well, the track behind it. So this, hats off to the people that have done this game. But if you want even better looks, go to YouTube.com and check out the trailer for the 2019 version which is coming out next month. So, 28. get to your local GameStop, Walmart, anywhere that may have it. So you can get your copy and get ready to enjoy some 2019, which 
we did a quick look at the trailer and it's got some really badass uh, graphics on it. So we'll definitely be having that and be running a 2019 season. Um, there is some changes uh, for next year's rules. But and a lot of changes to the drivers. And a lot of team driver changes moving around on the on the circuit. There also is a big reason as to why I don't play Formula 1 online, because Formula 1 online is just Crash Fest. That's pretty much what it is. If you want to play Wreck Fest, there's a Wreck Fest game out there. But so many people online just like to wreck one another that it is utterly pathetic. That's called Sore Losers, or Sour Go. That's called Kids Who Just Want to Crash. More people that want the trolls. That too. Down shift to the left. This car is, is absolutely awesome right now. Looks like we might have to repair the CD unit though. Now, MGU is at 53 for sale. So, MGUH and CE units. We one at the. There's going to be a couple requirements we've got to change. My car just literally, I feel like it outperforms everybody now in the daytime. Like as long as it's sunny and clear and dry, my car just goes and goes and goes. Our car is the Energizer Bunny. I'm gonna burp my sister around here. Throw it up in the high ERS. Yeah. Drop our fuel down the lean because I did say you heard him say we had three laps left to go before I even hit lap 12. So I'm going to try to be a little bit easier on the fuel. I might lose some time to Hamilton, but we got a 10 second lead on him. So if he starts catching up, we'll throw it back up in the standard and prepare for a fight. If he does catch up. Right now, it looks like he's still about 10 seconds behind. Thing. Yeah, right now, right? I looked up quick because I looked down at the time. That's what you got your your car cheap for for to do is keep an eye on the telemetry for you. Okay, it's called team but you don't see I find so. Looks like we have Ricardo in third place. Split point six. So what's the gap? The 13th is, the, the, for third place is 13.1. Didn't show Hamilton, who's in second place. <coughs> point, so 0.116 on split. Was it plus or a negative? Positive. Gap time, I just saw it slide over. Hamilton, 10 point something. We're 10 seconds ahead of Moore and Lean Mixture. Ricardo, right Ricardo is 13.6. We're in Lean Mixture and we're and we're gapping him by 10 seconds. That's how powerful the engine he built is. Downshift to the left. The 
listen to the crowd going wild. Well, maybe it's because an American's winning the American race. Has not won, but he is winning it so far. Our Sabra team has put a lot of hard work and dedication into this car to get to for a U.S. driver to win the U.S. This is final Grand Prix. Final the race. White flag, white flag's in the air. Knock on wood, hopefully nothing happens. We can just post this car into a, into a win. Nice and smooth, hit the marks. Last thing we're gonna do is hit a rumble stick and lose it and crash. That's why if I see the high high rumble sticks, I tend to stay away. But if they're low on the ground, then I'll do a little like that pinch over, but not too much. Break to your left. Gas. Let me go a breaking zone to the left. Checker flags are in the air, and we are going to be winner, winner, chicken dinner at the U.S. race. Woo! We did it. Good job. Yeah. Defended the home. <laughs> <laughs> now I can breathe. <laughs> Brilliant stuff from Salva today. What a superb victory. Anthony Davidson, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. Hey, Vanell was clapping for us when we got out of the car. Look at there, look at there. Getting a pat on the back. Nice job, Nico. Nico, Nico Hulkenberg. Seven place finish. Now, right, so seven to him. Down and celebrate after that well, luckily, we got three. in the top yeah, ten top and gained some points so we can keep our uh, constructor's position. And everyone's getting a bath. Yep. That wasn't Mattel. That was Raikkonen that was clapping for us. Yep. Alrighty, now we'll go from the podium. Erickson got 12th. Hey, at least he didn't lose a position. I will say that. Well, he, start, he actually gained one position. He starts 13th on the grid. There's 12th. Unfortunately, it's a tad bit too short by two positions to get points. After all that excitement, we are catching Reagan in the point Eric. standings, though. Thanks for joining us. If we can do good in the next two races, maybe we could pull off a cheeky fifth place in points. Well, there's, there's no way we're reaching fourth or any higher. <laughs> no, not at all. And on to the constructor points. Hold on, let me let me see if there's anyone. Yep, we still have Stuffle Van Dorn, Lance Stroll, Brent Harley, and Sergey Sorokin that have no points so far. One Toro Rosa, one McLaren, and both Williams people have not gained a point. We are in fourth place in the Constructors' Championship. Going nowhere else. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take that in shorts and just uh, enjoy our fourth place. But for a team that's uh, not as funded as the top teams are, we're doing as great as we can. Well, folks, like we said, this was an awesome race for the United States. It's on. Oh, race excuse me. Today. How do you Driver re has a. It doesn't get much better. Interview. Than this track, does it?
as best fans, but I couldn't done without the team. Everything went your way today. <clears throat> it looked like you had a really good strategy for the race. You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? That would be telling. <laughs> would you say that your rival is still on your level? He's a great driver. He just doesn't have my car. Appreciate your I can be nice to him. Yeah, we could have been rude, disrespectful, and said, Psh, no. Hell, he ain't even in my league. I could have said that pretty easily. Purple marker, not purple, but pink, pink, pink highlighter, and we're just going to highlight Austin and say we're good. All righty, folks. We hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, make sure you press the like button, <coughs> the share button, and also tap the ring the bell so you will know when we put up more videos. And our driver is clearing his throat for what reason? Because our next race will be from USA to Mexico. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, we get to go get us. Oh, a my. Sorry about that. <laughs> Holy moly. We got some money we can spend. And some more points. And more points. Let's see where everybody goes now. McLaren's pin. Haas's pin. Force, Force India's, India's pin. Pinged. Williams. Brindle Red Bull. Is almost pinned. And, but Ferrari, Mercedes, and Red Bull are all taking notice. Now they're like, hmm. It may take us down to the last race to get the other high dollar teams to say, hey, we want you. you deserve. We were sweating those last few laps on the pit wall, but you brought it home. So in the last few laps, yeah, I can understand that probably because of the engine in the back. Yep. We need to repair a few parts, but we'll get that done in time, hopefully for the next race to where we don't lose any positions. And we do have a message that had come in over the internet. Not much to go around the debrief this weekend. Good drive. Congrats on the podium. Make sure you don't let it go to your head. We want to continue this with this kind of momentum going forward. Hey, it's better than the last time. We don't want to sound mean or nothing, but so you harsh. Suck. But anyway, this is Rise of Stormcraft, or the driver, saying please like, please subscribe, and please ring that bell. It'll help us out greatly. Your support helps us out greatly. We love you all. And I'm saying goodbye. Anything else to say? We work our tails off to bring you these videos. We're busting our butts, putting in long hours. As you may have caught us a couple times yawning, but we're doing our best to get these done and published. So please like the button, press the subscribe button, and ring the bell. We appreciate it. Car Chief Doghouse David signing off for now. Goodbye. Bye.